We all face challenges that we think are insurmountable. And according to Darcy Gector, we must start with an unwavering belief that we can do it, no matter what anyone else says. A lot of people questioned what I was doing, and many people saw it as an inappropriate thing to do, especially the older I got. But I've fought hard to never let this commentary from others become my truth because just having the conviction that what you are trying to do is simply possible is the most important first step towards achieving your goals. Throughout Darcy's entire life, people have told her she can't do the things she likes to because she's too little, too short, or because women can't do that. But she never let this commentary become her truth. It's kind of hard to sum up what traversing the world's largest watershed was like in a few sentences, but I'll try to create a picture for you of what it felt like. So close your eyes for just a second and imagine some really long, exhausting, tiring day that you've had. And maybe you got there from a fun activity or from work or just from life in general, but that feeling at the end of the day where you just want to lay on the couch, you're totally beat down and you can't bear to do anything else. And now imagine that you're gonna feel that way for 148 days straight and throw in a few billion bugs and heat and dehydration and hunger. To say that we had plenty of challenges on this expedition would be a massive understatement. And every single day brought new obstacles to our success. And we had logistical headaches, like um, how do we get our food drops arranged? And how do we get the sea kayaks moved from the manufacturer in Florida to a tiny little village on the flat water of the Amazon. We had physical problems like our fingernails got irradiated from the sun and they started to fall off from too much sun exposure and some group dynamic problems as well. But through all of the suffering and all of the challenges, the three of us kept this underlying belief in what we were trying to do. We had a unified goal, which was to reach the Atlantic Ocean, and we all really believed in our cause. An adventurer, author, record setter, and boundary breaker, Darcy paddled for 148 days for more than 4,000 miles to become the first woman to kayak the entire Amazon River from source to sea. So some people listening right now might be thinking, well, I'm not a super athlete or ultra creative or brilliant. And I'd say, don't worry, because I am definitely none of those things. You know, the main thing that I have going for me is I'm just a stubborn brat who doesn't like to be told she can't do things. But when I'm presented with an exciting opportunity, I don't hesitate to say yes. And once I've said yes, I have no problem like, committing myself to the project working really hard to make it happen. And most importantly, I'm not afraid to fail. Requiring a balance of physical endurance, ability to work with the locals, patience for interpersonal conflicts, and mental toughness, her heart-pounding journey across the Amazon was as much of an intellectual and emotional undertaking as it was a physical challenge. I was stuck in this horrible, angry place for more than a week. And then a truly amazing thing happened, which was that I basically had a temper tantrum, you know, just like the meltdowns that you see two-year-olds having in the grocery store. And I couldn't contain my anger. I raised my paddle over my head and I screamed. And I'm a very emotionally boring person. So for me to scream or have any kind of outburst is very rare. But I screamed and as I was screaming, I tried to hit a piece of floating trash and I missed and I knocked myself off balance and tipped over and was swimming in the river out of my kayak. And I knew at that point that the only proper reaction to what was happening was just to laugh at myself, which I did. And I immediately realized what an idiot I had been. And then it truly was like night and day with my attitude. I was no longer pissed off. I didn't care how long it took us to get to the ocean or how many times we had to change our plane tickets home. And so with my optimistic outlook restored, the three of us together made it to within 10 miles of the Atlantic Ocean. Darcy's amazing feats challenge stereotypes and prove that personal limits cannot be defined by anyone but yourself. We made it to the Atlantic! and her story demonstrates how to find the courage and strength in yourself 
to do the undoable and overcome even the most daunting challenges.